<sighs> this ain't as easy as I thought. Yeah, you've warned me. Can't say you didn't. Honestly, the problem I'm having is the, the biggest thing I wanted to accomplish when first getting the uh, tuner was I wanted to try to correct whatever was causing that weird overboost condition. Like that was priority. I did not care about adding power. Um, not until I figured that part out and or not until I learned how it worked. So, of course, that's what I've been doing. I've been just trying my best to fix that issue. No matter what I do, I cannot fix this weird overboosting issue. I've read around that this actually is kind of a common thing with the Fords and doing exactly what my car is doing, what I've demonstrated it doing with it closing the throttle and then creating an overboost condition because there's excess pressure backed up in the charge pipes. So after making adjustments here and there, this is about as far as I've gotten. So I've changed a lot. And you're like, well, you probably shouldn't change too, too much at once. Well, trust me, I haven't. This has happened through a week of racking my brain and banging my head across the wall trying to figure out what was going on. So first of all, I'm going to bring up this most recent log I did, which was yesterday, after making crap tons of changes, yet no fix to my problem. You can see the problem area right here. This was a very light roll onto the throttle right here at 4,4600 RPM. And if you look right here, my freaking boost is uh, it's 26 and it goes to 28. That's actual manifold pressure. <laughs> That's that is higher than I want. And this car should not be making that much boost. I don't know why I can't get the boost under control. This is a, a legit overboost situation here, not what the car has been doing. So I, I have not a clue what is going on here in terms of boost control after installing these camshafts. It's the, it's the only thing that can change this over the last engine. Last engine had no problem, even with the Turbo Smart Wastegate. This engine is struggling with boost control and the only difference is those cams. So yeah, you can see, but everything else looks fine. Even at 28 PSI, let's see, 28 PSI, I was getting um, negative five, half a degree on the knock reduction. So, I mean, it was, it was at least momentarily happy at 28 PSI. So that's good for future reference, um, but you can see, it dropped spark. I mean, we were not even a degree of spark. That's why it was happy because it had to pull back so much. So it wasn't adding any spark, but it was taking all of that boost. You can see right here, this little last bottom green line is the throttle blade, how much it's open. It's only what, 30%? And it pretty much as soon as you go wide open throttle, you see that little spike right there. And then it, it dips down again and it goes down to what, 22%? Damn, thing's barely open. When it does that, tip desired, 24, actual tips, 32. So yeah, and then the actual manifold pressure rises. But once it gets up to that boost level, the actual and desired tip's actually not too far off. 35 desired, 44 uh, actual. So that's not terrible, but I, did not have it, I don't have it set to go that high. So I don't know why it was trying to get that much boost. And I don't want that much boost really coming in that low, at least not until I understand what's going on. There's a lot of weird things going on. There's a lot of these, let's go over here to this side of the page, limiters and such. Let's see, which ones do I hit? Torque reduction, throttle angle source, that's when I go wide open throttle. Uh, spark source is borderline, torque source driver demand, fuel source power demand, max source popcorn, combustion stability limit popcorn. So when it hits that 344 pound feet and then it does an injector limit, which I've learned it's not necessarily related to fuel flow. It can be, but not necessarily. It's just could be exceeding a parameter. So I've come in here and I've changed a lot to try to help this. First of all, in my torque management, my desired uh, torque 
what I'm trying to input into the car, I've neutered this. I've neutered this. You can see right here. This is this is is I'm trying to make it linear. There's a little hump right here on the higher end of the RPM range, but I want it as linear as possible because if you look, I got the uh, stock file here. See that? Look at the stock file. I, I know you can like move this damn thing around, but I don't know why it won't let me to see like different angles of this because you can actually. Theoretically, if you move it to the side, you, it shows you like what your torque curve would would be. But you can kind of see how it does this hump, and that's like that really aggressive mid-range um, torque that these EcoBoost cars have. Well, in, tor in order for this to get that torque, it's going to try to ramp in a lot of boost. Well, I don't want all this boost coming in at three, four thousand RPM. I'd rather be it linear um, and so I get a better understanding of boost control. So I've neutered this. You can see there's my graph. This thing here, I actually just go to the graph itself. There it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's how I go sideways. Look at this. I'm learning every day. Okay, if you look on the side here, okay, cool. Yeah, that's linear, except when you get up in the Higher RPMs, there's a little bit of a bump here, but you compare it to the factory and look how much more aggressive the factory is. The limit's the same. We're going up to the same limit. See, actually, eh, I got to kind of trim back just a little bit. It's really only hitting those higher torque numbers at a uh, higher RPM. But, um, let's see, we go back to, yeah, that whole... Thing here I think this is what's causing that really aggressive uh, boost spike because the car is trying to demand all this torque here and the camshafts well if they're flowing more air then this is going to be a problem so I neutered the crap out of this made it linear and I want to see if the car responds accordingly I've also made some changes to some of the other um, limiters the torque limiters I upped the fuel duty cycle just a smidge to see if that helps anything with some of them fuel limiters. Um, I adjusted a couple other things. What else? Did I, oh, I messed with the uh, wastegate duty cycle. Other than that, I didn't really change too much of anything else. Just some of the other limiters and whatnot, but not all of them. Until I know exactly what's going on. So as you can see, uh, yeah, still not right. The car's now legitimately overboosting and Hopefully, when I flash this new uh, tune here, things will be better. It's really tough to learn. Honestly, tuning this way, as long as you understand, is kind of easier, in a sense, because once everything's set up, theoretically, all you have to do to get more power is just raise the requested torque. That's pretty much my understanding of it as of now. You basically control power by controlling torque request. Once you learn that's how you do it, then it becomes easier to understand. And I get it, I get it now. However, I don't understand why the car still does weird things. Cause like, it's like a damn neural network. I swear it's such a complicated and complex system. I did not think it was so complex. Uh, the way it, it's algorithmic based like this value has to be this for this to do that and that to do this And if this is over that then you know, it's just like oh my god, it's Incredibly complex. I didn't even think it was near that level of complexity, but it is I'm just having a hard time Getting things right, but I'm learning as I go and I haven't blown it up yet So you got to give me credit there so I'm hoping with this new uh, table now that once I get out on the road, I got to get the OAR up and it should feel slow. Like, that's my goal. I want it to feel slow. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just letting the dang thing warm up here. So you want to, I mean, we, we, got a, we got a long way to go. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll get out on the road here and do a little log and see how things are going look up i feel real deal got the damn laptop in the passenger seat ha <laughs> look at me go moving on up in the world all right let's get out on the road and see what the baby does here hopefully doesn't do anything crazy <laughs> my first impressions were i am halfway right in what i've done 
normal operation, I can tell the car is way slower. It takes a lot more throttle input to move the car along or to get that like nice torquey push, torque surge, torquey push, Kirkology 101. But at wide open throttle, it still seems to be doing what it did before. Like, yeah, just normal driving, it just feels, it doesn't feel as like, or like, I mean, it's definitely smoother. I just, I like the, how smooth it is and, and it's how linear it feels. It just needs to be more of it. It's not quite enough on the low ends. It feels sluggish. So I know that I can raise that, but that's not the problem I'm having. Everything I'm having is at wide open throttle, 4,000 plus. The OAR is not even close to where it needs to be and it still seems like it's putting a lot more boost than it should. Just like normal throttle, yeah, everything is exactly how I said it. So at least that part of it, I know I did right. So yay, 3,500, stab it. Oh, actually, boost kind of went up to 20 and stopped. Maybe it just, when I first did the first pull, it didn't, the car was still, I don't know, maybe getting it, get learning the new tune. Maybe things haven't kind of set in yet. I don't know. Cause that's, that's what I expected it to do. It's working. Wow. Okay. Okay, so in so that time it went up more. You said you heard the flutter. You heard it. It was fighting itself. But now it's doing more or less what I thought it would. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sample. Nope. Went to overboost. Well, at least I got data. Get back home and we'll look it over. <laughs> ah! All right, so here's the data log we just did. And I'm upset because yes, it went into overboost again, but I'm not upset because this is actually better. This is better than it was before, uh, at least with my previous revision. This revision is better. I still have to figure out this boost spike, which uh, you can see, let's see, coming in, coming in. And, um, you know, the boost spike happens right here. I mean, really, theoretically, right here, See, but it doesn't go up nearly as high. It doesn't go up to 28, because 27 and change, um, which is better, but not great. And I'm only assuming it didn't go that high because my OAR is only 0.1. Yeah, not even, it, I mean, it's barely moved. I barely drove the car. I'm assuming that would still go to where it was before. You can see the green line here, the throttle opens up and then closes. I know that's a limit of some sort, and I've been trying to figure it out, and I can't. I thought I did. It hit its peak torque, or its desired torque, at here, 4,300 RPM with 23.99 um, pounds of boost. That's what I thought it should do. And that's my target torque, is 354. So that's right. That's doing what it should be doing. But then the boost creeps a little bit. And, you know, it goes up to 27. My torque goes down because it pulls back timing, a lot of it. Tip desired is 35 because that's my max. Tip actual is 44 because it's a throttle closing, but that's within 10 PSI, so that's acceptable. At least from my understanding, if you go in here, engine diag. Diagnostics, uh, crap, where is it? Airflow. Overboost, overboost, underboost, tip threshold, turbo wastegate tip, overboost threshold. If actual tip exceeds desired tip by this amount, then the overboost condition is set. I have it set at 20 PSI. It was 10 on the stock file. Oh, I'm sorry, four. Theoretically, if there is a 20 PSI, I guess I understand this right, 20 PSI between desired tip and actual tip, then it should set it off, but there isn't. There's less than a 10 PSI difference between the two, yet, see, 35, 44, until you get, uh, let's see, 
Well, I guess until you get about right here, and that's yeah, it was re oh, that is because it 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 fought itself, but it didn't throw the overboost until the end of the pool, which is fifty eight hundred RPM. Look at that, right there, forty four twenty four. That's a twenty psi difference, and then bam, overboost cuts my shit. Oh my god, this is this is a long process. Okay, but I see what happened. Theoretically, if I raise that tip threshold mount a little bit more, hopefully I wouldn't have the problem. I have a better idea now. Maybe I can make more tweaks to duty cycle in that range now that I got data for where the boost bike is in that RPM range. It's really just boost control right now I'm having a problem with. This is going to be a very drawn out process because this video is already probably really long. Like I don't want to cut too much out of these videos because I feel like it's good information. People watching someone kind of just take this on and learn. That's why I'm not like trying to chop these up too, too much and like leave out a lot of like nice little details and tidbits. And if you chop up a video too much and you take some things out of context and it just, it don't make sense. And then you get people asking questions and then, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try to wrap it up here now while the video is reasonably long and not extraordinary long, but this is gonna be a whole set of videos until I get this dang thing dialed in. So you're more than welcome to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Um, I'm reading every day on the comments and the videos, but I'm also just constantly reading and reading and reading on HP Tuners forums, on other websites with different material sources and whatnot to better understand this. Uh, so I'm like a week and a half, a, a week in or so, and I've already gotten to this point. So I'm learning a lot and I'm learning quickly. I just haven't learned enough. So yeah, it's a journey, it's gonna be a process. So there's gonna be a lot of videos covering every little thing I make, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, so far, we're made some progress in this video. Hopefully the next video will actually solve our overboost issue. But until that video, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with everyone you know if you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for next Cars Creative video.